Gomar here from RetroGameZone.co.uk here to show you how to rip sprites using Quax. Now Quax is used for Neo Geo games, CPS1 and CPS2 games. Here we have Darkstalkers. The first thing you want to do is go into video, set background color and set it to pink. Now because this is a CPS2 game, also have the option of disabling certain layers. So just hold, hold shift, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, and 0. And then you want to click Tools, Shot Factory, and de click all the layers so we just have the sprites. Now, you can either use Enter to pause it, and then use Control Shift to advance a frame at a time that way. But be careful with the shadow to make sure it's not the same color as the sprite. You should be removing the shadow. And here we go. It tells you the pause and advanced screen. Another thing you can do is use Shot Factory. Here, make sure you have Blink selected then. And click there and go through the columns. So the sprite you want starts flashing. So there, and the cars was flashing. The first one there. That's it in there. And now, click screenshot. Step frame to the changes. Check you've got all of him by just going either side. Screenshot. Step frame. And he's changed again. Check you got them all. Oh, see there. Blue's period on that. Screenshot and so on. But if you're lucky, see you notice sometimes parts of him disappear. And that's because you'll need to go like for there for example. If you're into tools, shot factory, blink selected, and then to that to restore that part of him. Because every now and again the sprite will just have little bits missing, so you always need to make sure you've got all of it before you take a screenshot. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You can either use the shot factory that way or if you're if you're familiar with the game and you know you've got all the sprite at the time, you can use this frame step by keep tapping holding shift and tapping space and then whenever the frame changes simply pressing control P to take a screenshot. That's pretty much it. Some other things you can do with this as well, so just a tile view it. Here you can see all the in game sprites in the tile form, just in case for some reason you want to go through the tiles to find maybe something you'd missed. But yeah, there we go. 16 by 16 is this one. So right there, for example, is. John Talbain, and this one here changes to palette. So you can do them by tiles if you wanted to. Use this one here to scroll through the sprites. Here we have Anacharis, and that's his palette there. I mean, it's more difficult doing it this way, but sometimes when you just set moves, the top or bottom of the sprite will just be off the screen, and you can probably easily find it in the tiles to complete the sprite. And just press enter to go back to the game. That's about it, really. Pretty easy to do. I mean, there, for example, look, he's just bouncing, none of them's disappearing. I could just use shift and space and take screenshots very easily and just complete his dance animation with no trouble at all. Yep, that's Quacks. Great program. 
you should get it and you should do some sprites.